Hi, my name is um, Cameron, and um, I'm doing this video as a response that um, I've heard of Stoggle Street, and it is being done by Keo Films. Now, I have a past like just anyone else has. I'm struggling as just as anyone else is. But I did see uh, Mayor Paul Vasali, Ipswich City Council, decide to go on the TV and say, well, certainly they won't not be allowed or in our region. Well, that's against the law because local government is the third tier of government. So you would have federal, state and local government. You have federal government, state government and local government. Local government um, has no power to influence the police in doing what they've asked them to do if what they're asking them to do and the, and what they're asking them to do and what they have asked for the police to do especially they don't have any power because if, it, if there's nothing illegally going on and there is nothing going on well then that's corruption in itself um if um if we have like the Police Powers and Responsibilities Act. Basically, the law says that we can legally protest in this country if we choose. Now, I, I definitely invite um, Keo Films to come to Ipswich. And I know that when you're in Ipswich, there is a problem of um, you possibly um, getting um, harassed. But because of who I am, and that I've done public justice advocacy and advocate work and social work for more than 20 years, and I have an integrity and a reputation as such that People are entitled to be helped. People should be treated with integrity. They should be treated with human rights. But unfortunately, within um, our society, people are not. For instance, I've been um, preaching down the train station doing evangelist work and community work and just being there to talk to people and help people. Um, it is about serving people. It is about helping people. But the problem is, when you have um, a local government, and the mayor is Paul Fasali, when you have a local government that chooses not to do anything, for instance, I approached the local government, the district city council, and Paul Fasali knew about it, and I wanted to, to have a drop-in centre for Ipswich. Their question was, no, you cannot have a drop-in centre. Uh, these organisations are doing more. So what they would prefer to do is basically put people on the outskirt, on the fringes of society. And what we have to learn to do is not put people on the fringe of society. We need intervention, prevention and education. You even have local churches putting people out on the fringes of their churches and then what extends to the fringes of society. At Iswich train station on Friday night, um, a woman was taken out the back by a police officer and no female police officer. So there are things going on in this which that should not be going on. Um, I'm, I'm having a difficult time when I set up doing my evangelism at this which train station, um, but the police harass me for no reason and uh, intimidate me and persecute me. There is a link on uh, this which justice that shows what I have been doing and um, the simple fact is, this sort of injustice, uh, and I believe that um, Struggle Street, um, through Keo Films, can certainly be a good thing to expose what the governments are doing. Now, I was a street kid in Brisbane in the nine, late 80s and 90s. I worked for the state government. I worked for the federal government. Uh, I worked for the Queensland Police Undercover, and also eventually I worked for the federal police under um, doing different things and that was with the with the Hawke government. 
there are there are things on uh, YouTube that you can check out. Uh, I'd have to find those links because it's been a while since I put them on there. But it was just sharing my story and of where I come from. But the question is, I really want somebody from Keo Films to ring me because I've already spoken to Paul Vasali's office, and as I said, Paul Vasali's office. So give Paul a message from me, and that is, Ipswich is not going to become a town where one man dictates what happens in the city of Ipswich. Ipswich should be um, a community event. It should be having the saying of the community. The community should have a say. It shouldn't be one person makes a decision for the for the community. Community of Ipswich, the region of Ipswich should have a say in what's going on with their local government, but obviously that is not the case. The problem is also within Ipswich region, the young people have nothing to do. They are bored. They hop and off on trains, they smoke, they drink, whatever. But the local government, including the state government, have no intervention or preventive measures out there. And this is why we have the Braveheart Foundation, the Daniel Morecambe Foundation, which I've discussed about how police are treating people at Ipswich Station in Bell Street. The question that I would ask is why can the um, Queensland police and why can the local government and why can um, the Queensland government uh, allow a, a town to basically become a ghost town? You know, the way that the that Ipswich planning, the local government planning, like, for instance, they want to spend millions of dollars on a lagoon and rebuild Ipswich and put a high-rise and all this. But there's one thing they miss out, and that is uh, providing uh, a place that is safe for young people. Um, they miss out the fact in how can we uh, provide an area or provide that safe environment for young people. The question is, there's no safe environment because if you're in Bell Street, Ipswich, and the police are around, you end up seeing a lot of action and you end up seeing a lot of things go on because this is what they do. They do it inside the train station. The question is, Queensland Rail um, allow their staff to, to un be unethical and somewhat rule the roost. What I don't understand is, Ipswich is only 45 k's from Brisbane. Um, the Brisbane City, um, and what I do not understand is why is there this um, concentration, saturation um, for behaviours outside of Brisbane City? The question is that young people have a right to be heard. Everyone has a right to be heard. Everybody has a right to be understood and not misunderstood. So my question to Keo Films, about Struggle Street, I would like someone to give me a phone call back and I would like someone to ring me because I believe I can provide a service and I'm willing to provide my service volunteer. You can walk the streets of Ipswich with myself and I can guarantee you that no police officer will harass you and no police officer will approach you because there is nothing going on. And I gladly will advocate and I will gladly push the issue because it is about helping people, it is about serving people and it is about making sure that people's rights and dignity and human rights is upheld and respected. As I was saying before when I had a problem with my video before is that we cannot determine human rights protesting, lobbying and human rights and dignity and put them in the same hard, back, hard basket as terrorism, because terrorism does not equal human rights. They are two different things, and they mean two different things. But what the people of Australia need to do is they need to stand up for their human rights. They need to start having some sort of dignity and saying enough is enough. You know, Queensland police become bored in this state, and they end up harassing innocent young people. They end up damaging young people. Now, the question that I would ask, why is this behaviour allowed to happen? You know, you can see on my YouTube video a police officer victimised me and attacking me because I'd moved my camera in their direction, but it was not recording them. It's just that for public safety, 
my safety and the public's safety and accountability. When I do my evangelism, I need to have my, my um, video on. Now, at the end of the day, I'm aware about protesting at, in front of ministers' offices. The question that, that I have to really, really think about is, you know, I have said numerous occasions that I go to Sydney at Martin Place and protest there um, about people with disabilities, um, the disadvantaged and the vulnerable, because the government is not doing anything about this. Then eventually move on to Canberra. These have been my plans, but they unfortunately haven't come about yet. Now, I've done guys advocacy and advocate services for more than 20 years. It is about helping people. It is about making sure that people's rights are looked after. Um, I certainly do not hesitate to um, get stuck into the police when they are doing the wrong thing. And I do not hesitate to contact ministers and what have you over what they are doing. And now, for instance, as I said, I would like to speak to somebody from Keo Films, um, the people that are doing Struggle Street. Street, Struggle Street. Uh, you're m more than welcome to attend my home in Ipswich. Um, it's not like that um, I don't have a right to Ipswich. Um, I, my, my family's origin is from Ipswich and goes way back. The question is that we do not live in Nazi Germany. We do not live in um, Nazi Germany in World War II. We do not uh, have any such people as um, people acting um, such as um, Hitler himself and his directives. Uh, that is not the behaviour that we should have in a human rights or in a, in, a, in a freedom country where rights and people's freedoms are protected. People's freedoms are not protected when you have uh, local uh, government uh, that gets up and says we will dictate who comes into our region and who doesn't. Now, if, if Ipswich City Council had their way, they would probably kick me out of their region uh, because they would try, but they wouldn't get anywhere because that's called corruption. Now, at the end of the day, go for it, Ipswich City Council. Try to remove me from your region. You can't because my family goes back to the 1900s. And my, my origins uh, come from this great city of Ipswich. Uh, I've got family that were um, hairdressers, and casket people, and etc. the bad keys. And if it wasn't for my grandmother, uh, Estella Badkey, I certainly would not be here. But you know, B-A-D-K-E. They were Germans. They came out um, in the 1900s. Now, at the end of the day, they own land, they, they work the land, they, they had jobs. And, you know, at the end of the day, what I do not understand is this is a mentality. And when you have um, some, some politicians in, in government, it's really about themselves and about what they can get out of it. It's not about what they can give to the people. It's about either sitting on the chair and doing nothing or looking after the people's rights. Now... I believe that Ipswich City could have wonderful, wonderful plans. But it seems to me that there are a lot of problems in Ipswich. Um, Ipswich is dead. It is a dead place. Um, as I said, you can have a shop brassard, and the brassard looks pretty and everything like that. But if you go behind the brassard, what do you see? Really nothing really happens. And there's not really great results. I have seen this recently, doing evangelism on the streets. I've seen how people suffer. I've seen how people are struggling. And I've seen how people are very much finding it hard to live. You know, my wife and I are on pensions. Um, I don't believe the government is giving us enough money. And I really want um, somebody from Keo Films to contact me uh, about to talk to me about how I can help them with um, Struggle Street. Uh, they're more than welcome to uh, contact me. I'm more than welcome to volunteer my time um, freely. Um, I'm serving my community. And it's good to, to be involved in something that is good. Um, I am a public advocate. I am a social justice advocate. And I can guarantee you that when you are in my presence, uh, the police are less likely to be harassing you. Um, for instance, the
the police know who I am and they know what I'm about and they know that they, can, they get frustrated and upset very quickly because they cannot touch me to the point that if I'm not breaking the law or doing anything wrong, if they choose to victimise me and to harass me and cause me undue problems, then I know the procedures and policies and the lobbyists and the activists that I can do against them. Because you can't just wake up in the morning as a human being, put on your police uniform, go to do your job and say, right, today I'm going to pick on Cameron, tomorrow I'm going to pick on this youth, and while I'm at my job today, I'll just pick on Cameron and I'll pick on a few other people. That's not what the legislation says. That's not what the law says. The legislation doesn't say you go and pick on people. But I would like um, Struggle Street to contact me from Keo Films. I remember when I was a street kid and Sally Atkinson was was the Lord Mayor at the time. And um, when she was the Lord Mayor of Brisbane, I approached her as a street kid. She took on what I said. I went through all the different youth organisations. They met together. And out of that became Flex School. And many people have gone on to university that may have not. And thanks to all those youth organisations getting together um, and, and talking and discussing with Sally, and Sally had already taken on all my ideas and what I was talking about, and what comes forth is Flexi School. Now, what I, what I do understand is that I'm also pre-Fitzgerald. So at the end of the day, there is a lot of things that I do know. And um, I suppose the government gets a bit nervous and a bit worried about that. The good old brown paper bags, uh, lunch brown paper bags in Queensland government. They wouldn't have sandwiches in them. They would have other things in them, such as money. But you know, my question is, is that we are a free and democratic society. If we are a free and democratic society, then how come the police act like Gestapo? How come the police act like SSS men? How come they behave like they have the power go to their heads? The question is, is that a lot of people are struggling in the Ipswich region. They're, they're struggling everywhere. Um, I used to go to Goodna State School, Anala State School, Goodna Anala High School. Hang on, what is it? Anala State School. Uh, when I was a kid, so I went to Goodna, Goodna State School, and then, yeah, I went to Anala High School, not for, for long. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all have our stories to share. And um, mine's a complex issue, but I would like to speak to someone from Keo Films. Um, the things that I know and the things that I have been trained to do um, and the things that, that, that I have done... Um, because of being trained by the Queensland Government and the Australian Federal Government under the Hawke era, um, Prime Minister Bob Hawke era, um, you know, it, it's something that's very, very complicated to discuss. But um, from this perspective, um, I, I have been trained and brought up this way. But, you know, I would like Keo Films to contact me and discuss how I can help them, how they can walk around the streets of Ipswich, because I invite you to Ipswich. I invite you as a as a as a guest to Ipswich, and and I invite you guys that you can freely walk around Ipswich with me, and nothing will happen. You know, I I I, I operate at Ipswich train station. Yes, the police sometimes harass me there, but it's just all, you know, um, bluff. Because they know they can't do anything to me. They try, but I'll video record them. There's not a problem. And I think it's about time that we have intervention, prevention and education. Anala, I know Anala very well and um, I know what Anala used to be uh, when I was a kid. And um, Anala has turned into a multicultural um, suburb. Um, so could you please contact me, Keo Films, to do with Struggle Street. Um, I reassure you that um, you're more than welcome to come to Ipswich and Anala. The mayor, the the, the premier of Queensland, um, Premier Anastasia, um, she knows of me, of course. Um, and you know, the the question is that 
it would be an embarrassment for the Queensland government to even approach you guys with me. Um, the embarrassment would be is that um, I would take on police head on and uh, I would say, well, what law is being broken, sir? Everybody that, that, that has been talked to or discussed with, we have their consent under the Privacy Act and um, people are willing to talk. Um, what you're asking me to do does not come under the Police Powers and Responsibility Act. It does not come under any other criminal code. So I suggest that what you're talking about, sir, is a civil matter. And police don't get involved with civil matters. Um, police do not get involved with civil matters. Um, they are not supposed to. And something that um, has been discussed within law enforcement, not only in Queensland, but Victoria, uh, New South Wales, is the police in all states and territories, the police are not personal security. They are there to do a job. They're there to keep the public safe. But it is no reason for the police to be harassing a group of people or myself, and it has nothing to do with keeping the public safe, and it's just them bored and got nothing better to do, then they cannot harass you. That is wrong. But that's why you record them. The question that I have is that with Bell Street at its switch, um, it can be pretty much dead at night. But when the police turn up at the East Railway Station, they tend to pick on young people. And as I said, Friday night that this, let, this went, um, they took a girl in the back room, one young male police officer. And uh, apparently he did a few things because there was no female officer presence. On my Ipswich Justice website, there is um, an interview with a 16-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl. And that is quite alarming. And this is what the Daniel Morcom Foundation and the Braveheart Foundation is talking about. That we need to have change. And merely as an advocate, this is a speck in the dirt for me, but another advocate, a number of lobbyists, we put all our specks of dirt together and we make one big speck of dirt, a big speck of dirt, and that's when start, we start having conversation and discussion surrounding this, and that's when we start having change. In Victoria, we have special supportive accommodation, SRSs. Um, in Queensland, we lack this. Uh, and basically, we choose to allow people to become homeless at a disadvantage than rendezvous and that don't really have anywhere to go. We need SRSs in Queensland. And the government um, certainly need to answer for a lot. Um, as I said, I am not just the average person that's walked off the street. Um, I deal um, constantly with state and federal governments. Um, yes, there has been injustices with myself. But look, it is very complicated. But I am willing um, to assist, to serve the community. Uh, I'm, willing, I'm willing to help Struggle Street. You're more than welcome to come to my address. Um, you're more than likely to come to visit myself. Uh, and you're more than likely to walk around Ipswich with me. I will give you that guided tour and I will show you Ipswich um, because I have the knowledge of Ipswich and uh, I know where a lot of the homeless people are as well. So if you want to contact me, um, you can contact me, um, which I'll put my details into your website when I upload this to YouTube. So I would like someone from Keo Films to contact me I'd like them to discuss this with me and I would like them to understand what the political sense is and why people are struggling and why people are suffering. Because one, the federal government doesn't understand that every time they make a pension rise, rent goes up, food goes up. So really, it's not really helping at all. It's only making us struggle and struggle and struggle more. The federal government is not doing enough when it comes to looking after the Australian people and I think um, when it comes to it um, they do um, set up this environment but as I said I'm aware of certain classified um, government classified stuff um, I think it's been a long time coming forward um, but there are other videos that I have done on YouTube um, 
I was a street kid in Brisbane and I have been to Ward of the State in Queensland. This is over 20 years ago. Um, and um, in a sense, uh, I have become media property um, because of, to get out of what I was involved with the state and federal government, I married a guy on the 13th of April 1991. I uh, went on Darren Hinch for front page of the newspaper and it went right around the world. And ever since then, I have looked at uh, helping people, um, serving where there is injustice, uh, helping people that are, that are vulnerable and downtrodden, that are being taken advantage of, and trying to give them a better quality of life and trying to help people. That's the most that I can do is help people and serve people where possible and just give them a better life. So I would urge that um, Keo Films to ring me um, to discuss this matter further um, and I'm willing, more than welcome, for you to come to Ipswich. Um, you're more than um, welcome. I, I will provide you that protection. I will provide you that security and why I'm in your presence and with you walking around Ipswich, which I can give you a guided tour. I am sure that um, no Queensland police officers will be harassing you because I can um, contact the Minister for Police and explain what I am doing. Um, and they will say to me, Mr. Guy, um, we are not in the business of harassing you or your, um, your acquaintances. Um, we know that you record anyway in Ipswich. Uh, you do video interviews, you, you record people anyway. So at the end of the day, we, we're not going to have the police harassing you for no reason. Um, that is unacceptable. That's not off. But according to local government in Ipswich, yeah, they think they can pick up the phone and, and make false complaints to Ipswich, Ipswich police. And they think they can put their heavies on the police minister to, to somewhat try to persuade them to have the police bully people. And that's just not acceptable. That's all alleged. I have to say alleged because if I wasn't to say that, there would be issues. Uh, as I said, it's a sad day when you have a local government that does not want to move forward, um, that wants Ipswich to be a ghost town because that's what Ipswich is. It's a ghost town. It's dead. There's no direction and um, it's not moving. And Nala is better than, than Ipswich to that point because it's part of Brisbane City Council. And also Graham Quirk, um, he, it goes to him as well. He has no authority over the Queensland Police, his local government, and he needs a good good excuse to be calling in the police. And if he wants to pick on um, Keogh Films and Struggle Street, then go and pick on Operation 513, because they are causing um, more damage in the Ipswich City Mall and what we have here is a court of police assemblies permit in Queensland. Uh, you apply for a police assemblies permit. If, they, if the police choose not to give you one, well, um, then it goes to court. But most of the time, the Queensland police will give you a police assemblies permit. Uh, and that enables you then to assemble in certain points and do whatever you need to do. And uh, that, that keeps that within the law. But we're not protesting or anything like that. We're on this going to, as I said, uh, please, uh, if you wish to accept my services, um, I'm willing to give you a guided tour of Ipswich, and, and I'm sure that um, you should have not too many problems, um, because I will provide that protection to your camera crews, to your, your report, your the people, your directors and etc., because at the end of the day, there is no law being broken, and um, I'm just hoping that we can see better equality, more social justice, more human rights being protected, and to actually focus on the point that people are struggling out there, people are suffering, and there needs to be more done on intervention, prevention, and education. Education, intervention, and prevention. There is not enough of this being done, and um, basically the welfare system is bursting at the seams, um, they are becoming every day more and more under-resourced. They don't have the resources. And basically more and more and more people are becoming homeless. Uh, more and more people are suffering because of um, these injustices, um, these human rights uh, breaches. Um, for instance, I have just recently um, stumbled across doing guys' advocacy and advocate services 
and being an advocate and a lobbyist and a social justice lobbyist, I've come across two families that are homeless with children, you know, and um, really the government, the these welfare organisations, their hands are tied to a point because um, the, the, there seems to be a, a miscommunication or a misguided government uh, to the point of not really focusing what the needs are. We need homeless shelters. We need people to help, such as in Goodner and Mill Street. At least they are doing something. They're moving forward. It's a great shelter. They provide food. They provide safety for the homeless. Um, and they're actually doing a good job. And this is, this is people in Mill Street. So they're doing a really, really good job in Goodner. So at the end of the day, I believe that I welcome um, TO Films, Struggle Street to Ipswich. You're more than welcome to um, get in contact with me. Um, I would like you to return my call. I would like someone to ring me back um, on the number that I send with this. And please understand, I want to serve the community. I want to improve the community. I want to see more integrity. I want to see more human rights and decency uh, looked at to the point that people should not be struggling like they are. Please um, take into consideration that this is very hard for me and that it's a very complex and complicated matter, but um, I'm here to serve the community. I'm here to help the community. I'm here to help people. That's what I do. That's what I do best. My phone, my phone number I'll provide with you. And um, I would like Struggle Street and Keo Films, somebody for them to ring me back and please talk to me because I believe that through my passionate beliefs of looking after people and helping people that we can work together and I'm willing to provide why you're in it, which um, I'm willing to provide and volunteer my services and uh, assist you guys as good as possible. Um, so... There's also a few homeless places around the place and um, I also have uh, somebody else that I can introduce to you as well and uh, he lives in Bouvel and I'm sure that he he deals with a lot of um, social justice issues and, and social welfare issues as well. So anyway, I will leave it there. You, or I would request for somebody to ring me back from TO Films about Struggle Street, and uh, I'll put my details with it. Thank you for listening, and I'll hear from you guys soon. Thank you.